Morning everyone, nice bright shiny morning this morning after a, a big rain last night. These grounds are saturated, almost like a swimming pool over here. Look at this. Wow, could almost put a swimming pool there. Anyway, this is not my place. Um, just come here and do the bins for them and I volunteer to do that. Put them out. Anyway, let's get to go through these. Right, done a bit of an upgrade on his piping. Hmm. Anyway, got our tote for our alfoil. What have we got in this one? There. Might just pour that in. Move this one back. It was already here. I didn't drag it out. There's one there. It was already there, so it saved me. What's that one done? he goes I might use his as an emptier seem it's already empty that into there those there that there grab the rubbish out Stick a root and go in bin. What have we got here? Oh yeah, okay. There. We're only doing here today. There's um the park is actually closed. No one in or out because of the flood water. Ooh, great hole in the side of this. It's truth. Here we've got two there. They're a bit mangled and tattered, really. Anyway, what have we got here? Was a carton of eggs. Oh, well, they've had a clean out. Okay, had a clean out. Bit of, what is it? Berry. Oh, there's two strawberry, two mixed berry, two raspberry. It's supposed to be a six pack. Still in date. Ooh, we don't know how long they've been there for. It has been a cold night. Mmm. One chance, chicken. Chicken's one of those things you don't trust. They've been in there for a couple of days by the looks of it. Meats, if it's frozen, yes. You don't chance it.
ini kemudian masuk Okay, ini Oh, through that over the side. My aim's not good today, by the looks of that. We've got that bag, yep. There's a big one there. That one. That one. That there. growing the load is growing Sorry, everyone. Oh, damn, another bag. Another full bag. This one looks all right. That one looks a bit yucky. Come on, open up. Open up. What's inside ya? Just elf oil. Oh, that's sweet. Take that one, get the paper out. Oh, there's paper and plastic. Pretty clean that one. That is it.
there. North eat there. Nothing in that one. Feels very light, very light. Still got to check. Might have plastic bottles. The alcohol. Take the alcohol. More alcohol. The plastic bottle. Been his fault. Stuff over there, that there.
Oh yeah, there's one. Snail. Come on, off you come. Get out of there. Kept digging. What the devil's that? Some sort of cane sort of thing. I've got an idea with that. Take that. Put that there. Place mat or something, but I've got a better idea because it's got the glass on. I don't need to clean. I'm um, looking into making our strawberry patch, which is in a pot, so we can move it around because it's so heavy. Instead of lifting it all the time, it takes two of us to lift it. Oh dear! Trying to find a set of wheels so we can just put it on the set of wheels and wheel it around. That there. So I can put that on on the set of wheels, then the then the pot. Make use of it that way. Nothing in the bag. Nothing in the bag. Pretty good, that's it. Oh, so that. Not much in it. Not much to worry about. It's only a pizza box. And got some on the bottom. Yep, there's one. Right, empty that, empty that. That's that one empty. Stuck into these yellow ones. Oh, it's got some weight in it. A lot of glass, but it sounds good. 
Oh yes. Let me get rid of that broken stuff. Hmm, decisions, decisions. We can lift it out one by one or pour it in. I think at the moment, lift it out one by one. Less chance of things breaking. Man overboard. We're gonna get a lot out of this one. It's what we need for the day. And probably about thirty dollars for the day. Let's see if I'm right. So the day's not finished yet. It's still loading. Get it all there in one piece without breaking it. Where'd that one go? I think I dropped a bit of glass too, I did. Down here. That's that one. Pick up that scraggler. Straggler, what if oh change? They get heavy on shore. They get heavier and heavier every day. Well I'm getting weaker and weaker. Whichever. Nothing in the box, feels light. Put that there. Put that there. Wine bottle. About time we got a wine bottle. Hey, has it got the 10 cent on it yet? No. It'll take them a while. All the companies have to register. I'll keep checking them. Every time. Week by week. Isn't it 
anyway. What's inside it? Curiosity. Yeah, no. <laughs> Just curiosity. Basically, someone's rubbish tells you what they're eating, how their health is. So I've been told. Oh, well, that's a handy idea. That one's not going to go through. He's got no barcode on him. And a pair of swornies. Bottles of water, I think that's not even open. I'll have to check that out. That one's been open. Estimation might be wrong, you know. Well, how much is he? There's a lot of glass, you don't get much of glass. Too bad, mate. How's yourself? Another two weeks before you get back to the van? Oh, I'd say so, at least. Just put it in there. No worries. Got more in the shed. <laughs> He's picking them up. I can hear him going. Ping, ping, ping. <laughs> At least another two inches of rain this buddy. Yeah, yeah. Just let's hope the river don't come back up. Oh, you're joking. Not good for the park though. Well, I've noticed that. There's no travellers. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, yeah. I threw it overboard. <laughs> Misplaced and went overboard. Thanks for that. We're not even getting any. We're not even getting any campers. Uh, no, it's traveling. It's too wet. Yeah, too wet. <laughs> Bloody oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like a second COVID, all this flooding we're getting. It's unreal. Oh, I might just pour that into that. Boy. Pick up that one. 
Here's a no. Right, get our knife, get our knife, and we'll uh, do these two wine bottles and put the rest of this out, and I'll check that out. Yeah, no one will do. Said I gotta pick up my can down there. I dropped Done. a bit of radic this morning. <laughs> Don't they take wine bottles? Uh, they will be soon. Yeah. Um, I take the aluminium neck off it. So when do they? I'll recycle that. But they they did say on the news two weeks ago. Um, but they are planning to put these on the ten cent yeah, return yeah. and earn. Um, anything up to three liters. <coughs> oh, yeah. So yeah. Everything. Well, I can take them, but it comes back to where am I going to put them? No, that's what I mean. Like if they're not, so I thought they were recycling everything glass. No, no. Anything with a ten cent on it, um, yeah, it's going through at the moment. But they are planning to do these. Yeah, right. A lot of glass in that that could recycle. Oh, yeah. Well, you look at them. Some of the. Of that. Yeah, that's it. That's so thick. Yeah, that's right. Mm. But yeah, I take the tops off because I recycle the aluminium. Oh, yeah. Where do you do? Where do you send that? I press it up in a press. Like what I've done is I've gone and bought a super cheap press, yeah. twelve thousand ton or twelve twelve ton, twelve thousand ton. Yeah. Um, 12, ton. Yeah. Wish <laughs> it really squashed it down. Yeah. Um, and I went and got a piece of RHS. Yeah. Put some wings on it, bolted yeah. a plate on the bottom, press it down in the centre, yeah. and I take it all the way up. Yeah, I'd make bricks out of it. Yeah, right. The heaviest one I've got is close to seven kilos. And what's um, aluminium worth at the moment? Oh, I can't tell you. Yeah. I don't keep track. Yeah. So I'd rather try and get the 10 cent than try and get the aluminium. Because yeah. <laughs> there's more in that than what there is in that. But when you come to, say, extruded aluminium and ordinary aluminium, uh, not tin can stuff, because by the time you smelt this down, other words, melt yeah, it down, yeah, yeah. You're getting you. You've got to go through at least seven or eight cans before you start getting anything because of a lot of, lot of yeah, the slag. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you notice that if you throw them in the fire. Oh yeah. They yeah, they just go to nothing. <laughs> and the mud, the, the 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 actual top here. Yeah. There's more aluminium in that than yeah. the whole can. Yeah. Because that doesn't go away, does it? Yeah, yeah you're true. <laughs> That's an indication when you put it in the fire. What's left? Your yeah. top piece and your bottom piece. Yeah. Yeah, the no, side's so thin. Yeah. So, yeah, it's better to get the 10 cent. <laughs> well, that, it's not, not much, much of a trouble. Like, if I had to crush every single one, you're going to get so much per kilo. So, but I've got a whole heap of aluminium and copper and all that sort of thing sitting at home and it's just unreal. Yeah. So, I'm yeah. about ready to do a scrap run to bloody Wagga. But I've been thinking about going to the Tamora one. Right, right, over there's, there. there's someone at Tamora I've been notified about to uh, take it, so. Yeah, right. Well, that'd be close, it? It's closer, yeah. Oh, yeah, especially from Griffith. So, anyway. Get this all finished up. Water has subsided a fair bit. Was right up to the edge here. Right there, where the green patch is. Where my finger is actually. Um, so it has gone down a fair bit. I may be able to get around that, I don't know. I don't think I want to chance it to find out what the level is. It's probably around the six point Seven. I'm only guessing, um, but the road is still closed because the water's still in the park here. So uh, we won't be going in there for probably another couple of weeks. So what we got today is pretty much all we'll get. So the park is still underwater. Fairly well in there. I can walk down here and get a bit better shot at the office.
So, yeah, our recycling will be down a fair bit for a while. Uh, not much I can do about that, but this is the office, which is the low point. She's still got water flowing through it, so there'll be a bit of a clean up there. Not much I can do about it. I won't be doing the clean up, thank God, because um, they only allow me to go through the bins and get all the recyclable cans and cartons and plastic and glass. So, still a lot of water laying around, and with um, the caretaker that I was talking to saying that they got about two inches last night, this river's going to probably come back up again. So, two inches over a big body of air, big area. Um, yeah, this will be back under again, probably. Anyway. It's been that high that there's a fridge right there. So, I know what I'm going to do when the water's down and all this is dry. I'm going to go in there and get that fridge out of there. Save the council cleaning it up. It'll take... Oh, many months probably, but I'll remember that that fridge is there. It's unreal. This is the first bridge that we usually go across. It's never got any water across it. So, and then the second bridge is way up yonder. Way up yonder. So, Certainly no chance of me walking across that. There's still, oh, probably two, two or three inches, 50, 75 mil of water in there. So I'm not even gonna try and bother trying to drive through it. I've already drowned one vehicle once before. Not drowned another one. It was a very costly episode at the time. But the best I can do for our marker It is below, it looks to be one, two, three, what I can see in the camera. Uh, so it's probably around the 6.7, still pretty high. So, but anyway, go and see how much we got. Well that's gonna do it for this episode everyone. That's so all we're going to get for the day. As I showed you, the, the park over here is actually flooded. Can't get no more there. Um, but we'll do a follow-up on how much this actually is. Now, you've got to think, there's only one place for where I've got this from, and that place usually doesn't get this much. So it's a bit of an upturn on one side and a bit of a downturn on another. Um, like they're losing revenue from the park but um, not much can be done about that so anyway um, if you've come this far in the video everyone don't forget to smash that like button and if you consider subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when there's a new video coming out so yeah it's just one of those things revenue is always a thing for around here it's a tourist park um, so yeah, it's a very viable park, especially for me. I can get a lot of recyclable material from there. But um, we've noticed even ourselves, uh, where we work and we don't get many campers coming through ourselves. So it's all due to these floods. And uh, yeah, like we've only had one, one overnight stay and within a week and no one's moving about. And that's, that's what it is. So anyway, um, on that note everyone, I'm going to end it off there and I hope everyone has a great day. So enjoy your day while you can, live it to your best. Signing off, see you in the next one. Cheerio!